So you'll see now that he's getting ready, he's getting buoyant, getting nice and hot, getting light, and when he's ready, he's gonna pull that quick release and away he goes. Oh my God. There are so many. <laughs>
Everybody leave.
Ladies and gentlemen, what do you reckon? Give a round of applause, and it looks fantastic. <laughs> So, Darren, do you want to talk us through uh, the process now? Obviously, you've got people that are holding down the balloon. They're holding it on the ground. There's obviously a certain amount of hot air that needs to go in there before the pilot decides it's time for liftoff. Correct. So, in these windy conditions, they'll generally get people to hold on the outside, chuck a little bit of weight on, and it just helps to stabilise the basket as much as they can. You're never going to completely stop it. Uh, and you'll also notice that he's tied off to the ute, so that is his final safety line. Uh, on that line, there is a quick release mechanism. So when he's ready to go, he will get buoyant. The basket will actually leave the ground and he will release that quick release and he will be off like a rocket in these conditions. To be fair, it's probably slightly slower than what it was when he flew yesterday afternoon. So uh, this guy's pretty professional. His only thing to watch at the moment is that he clears the lights at the other end of the field and then he'll be looking to land pretty soon after and get back here for the night glow. Look, we have got an amazing night ahead of us. Um, obviously, we're going to see uh, the balloon take off shortly. We've got uh, model aircraft that are going to come out and do a display. We've got drone racing later on. And, of course, the pistol resist off of the night glow, which is spectacular. Yeah, the night glow is definitely a highlight for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of hard work's gone in. We've made a, a nice track to glow to, and I've um, written out a bunch of choreography, which I'm still working on out the back at the moment, to try and get some balloons glowing in time to the music. So you'll see now that he's getting ready, he's getting buoyant, getting nice and hot, getting light, and when he's ready, he's gonna pull that quick release and away he goes. So a big round of applause, everybody. Away goes John. He's gonna clear the lights at the other end of the field, and then he'll be looking to land and race back here for the uh, night glow later on. Wave goodbye to him, he can hear you. I'm going to sign off in just a second. I've got a few other jobs that I've got to go and do, but what I am going to say is keep your eyes peeled towards State Highway 2 as the afternoon goes on. If everything goes well, we should have one or two balloons that may appear over the horizon and look to land in this area that we're in at the moment. It's a very tight area, so we'll do our best to get them in here, but at worst, you'll hopefully see them flying past. So keep your eyes over towards the right. You'll spot them later on.
Um, and that's how he basically flies, just like a normal balloon. He's a 105, so he's slightly bigger than some of these other ones that are here. All right, there we go. Abel Tasman certainly uh, gaining quite a bit of height now. It looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? Whip out your cameras. This is a great opportunity. Pilots, if you're listening, it uh, might be good to get a couple of you in the arena just in case he does get over here, have some extra hands to be able to uh, catch him if he does come through. appreciation and right on cue as you look back towards the east you'll see the second one coming over with Andrew Parker in the dream big fly high project balloon fun fact about this balloon he's actually taking it all over the country and he's taking it to primary schools and community groups uh, next month I believe he's actually down in the South Island so if you're down there you may have uh, a balloon showing up to your school to do some teething rides which is pretty awesome Check it out, DreamBeat, flyhighproject.com. Get your cameras ready, get some good shots of that. And actually, the Abel Tasman balloon now uh, just gained some height as well. So, a couple of really, really good on some photos. Give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come away if you're here. How about we try something different? On the count of three, everybody say, Hi, Andrew! One, two, three! Hi, Andrew! Fantastic. Give him a wave. He's going to fly off into the sunset, find somewhere to land, and then hopefully get back here in time for our night glow. Give him a wave, everybody. Well done, Andrew. Thanks for coming and putting on a show, and we will see you later on with the night glow. Awesome, ladies and gentlemen, now is a really good time to sit down with your family, grab something to eat, grab a hot coffee, because we're going to get prepared for our micro, and it is going to be absolutely spectacular. Uh, before we do that, we're going to do a bit of a roll call. Let's find out where everyone is from here tonight. So let's start with what it up. If you are from what it up, and give us a shout. If you are from Wellington, give us a shout. If you are from the mighty Marawa 2, give us a shout. There we go, it's a couple of weeks and we're waving in the rush, Stuart. I knew it, I knew it. Wonderful, we'll be back soon, ladies and gentlemen.
people here that have never been this up close and personal to a balloon before, let alone to a night glow. We are so fortunate to host this and got it up and we absolutely love the festival. A few more balloons to go up. We'll be good to go in about seven minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, I don't. Mama has never pulled. Oh my god! There are so many! <laughs> As you would have seen familiar today, it takes a little bit to get these uh, envelopes, these balloons up and running. Not only have we got amazing pilots, but we've also got fabulous crews that work alongside them to make everything come together and everything work well. Ladies and gentlemen, to our crews and our pilots, a massive round of applause! Yeah. to go ballooning in almost any country in the world. There's a massive festival that takes place in Albuquerque. You can go on balloon rides in Egypt and Australia, but there is nothing quite as spectacular, obviously, as Aotearoa. So take a look at this. Soak it in. Take lots of photos. It's a really wonderful experience. Now, coming to the here, of course, for the weekend, and if you do want to go for a ride the balloon, make sure you get in touch. I've done it, it's a really spectacular experience and something that is very, very unique. And even if you're not a big fan of heights like me, you'll absolutely love it, that I can guarantee you. It's just so magic, so peaceful, so quiet, an amazing experience. Four minutes, four minutes away from the start of the glow. Alright ladies and 
Oh, that was nowhere near loud enough. Are you ready for the nightclub trip again? All right, so out of we want to hear lots of shouts, lots of yays, lots of clapping for all of our pilots and their amazing crews. But I need them to hear you. So we're going to do a bit of a countdown from five. All right, are you ready? Five. Four. Three. Two. One, let's not go! Oh, sorry.
absolutely outstanding. Thank you all very, very much for coming. I hope you've enjoyed what has been a remarkable night of uh, balloons, of drones, of model aircraft, and of course, meeting new people, no doubt, next to you. Uh, look, it has been great. Thank you so, so much.